everybody, John Criswell back here again with another video, and today I bring you some more Dragon Ball Z content. Now, I know I'm kind of late to this one, I actually just witnessed it not too long ago, and uh, it's not really that old in general, but, you know, my head's been focused on other things, you know, I've been focusing on the whole uh, Robot Underdogs Light of Hope series, not to mention... My head just in general has been all about the Power Rangers fan film, which if you've not seen, definitely check it out. If you're not into violent, mature content, then you need to screw off and not watch it. But if you are, then definitely go check it out. I'm just saying, the Dawson kicks ass. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about DBZ, and uh, not too long ago, they reviewed a new trailer for Dragon Ball Z, The Resurrection of F or, uh, res you know, rev Revival of Frieza, whichever you want to retitle it. But nevertheless, we got a good reveal, ironically, of the new form that Frieza's obviously going to undertake in the new movie. Now, obviously, the big thing that's been talked about ever since the conception of this movie is how is Frieza going to be able to top the Z-Warriors on how much they've progressed over the course of the last time they saw him. You know, obviously, God's are amongst us. I mean, Goku is a god now. Vegeta, basically, based off the trailer we saw, may be a god too. And, you know, everybody's just up on their game. You know, they're kicking ass. They're fucking... They're badasses. Frieza, obviously, has been left behind greatly. And the big thing is, is how is he going to compete with that? And we've seen a few chapters and panels of the manga that they released for, uh, you know, Fugats no F. And we've seen, you know, some panels and mentions of, like, how he's going to have a new form. And a lot of people have been talking about, oh, well, it's, he's going to have some type of god form. And maybe that can, you know, come into place with the plot line where maybe he was a god before Beerus. Or maybe he had some kind of potential of power that he we never got to witness. And basically, we got to see it in this one trailer. Uh, I've only seen... The original version, I don't know if there's like a like a dub version or a subtitle or a subbed version of it somewhere on YouTube, but I've only seen the original trailer, and personally I love it, I think the movie's going to be awesome, if I'm not mistaken it comes out next month, if, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure the Fugatsu no F comes out next month, and it looks like it's going to be way better than Battle of Gods, it looks definitely intense, and uh, just that one, sh I mean just that one shot in and of itself of, um, Krillin, you know, flying through the air, uh, having, like, Frieza's army chase him, and that scene of Vegeta, like, powering up, possibly god mode, if that doesn't pump you up to be like, fuck yeah, this is gonna kick ass, then I don't know what is, but nevertheless, one, in some point in the trailer, where Goku and Frieza are initially fighting, there's a specific scene where he's up in the sky and he's, you know, completely baffled at what's happening below him, and we get to see Frieza, and is of course his most iconic de intimidating pose, uh, then the, you know, the lights flare, and of course the, you know, the smoke goes away, and we get to see his new form, which is basically not that much different from his previous form, ironically enough, but it looks cool nonetheless. Now, Basically, for those of you who have not seen the new form, definitely, this may contain spoilers, so definitely stop here, go check it out, then come back, but initially, after everything I'm about to state, is going to be spoiled for you, so definitely check it out nonetheless. But in the end of the day, Frieza's new god form, or, or new power-up, or whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't know yet, I've not seen the movie yet, so until I see it and see what they're actually seeing, then you know, we'll have the full context, if you will. But nonetheless, we get to see the new form, and his new form is basically his final form um, in his, uh, obviously, his transformations. You know, he has his, you know, his most iconic look is, of course, his final form, but basically, it's just that, the same design, except on top of it, instead of the white and purple, it's now gold and purple, which is interesting. Now, um... I've heard various people talk about it online, and uh, a lot of people seem to be kind of on the fence about it, and for me, personally, I think it looks cool. I mean, like, you have to realize that Toriyama has definitely been taking a very simplistic approach with his designs as of late. I mean, like, just look at post-DBZ, and everything he's done post that, not including GT, of course, because that's not canon in... You know, let's just forget that. But post-DBZ, every single chapter or piece of manga that he's ever done that's somewhere of um, 
uh, takes place in the DBZ universe, whether it be Jocko the Patrolman, or Mi the Minus manga, or um, freaking Battle of Gods, or all this other content that he's done on the side. All the new redesigns for new characters and old characters and, and what have you have been very simplistic. And that's kind of the approach that he's been taking over the course of the last decade, practically. So I think that's something that a lot of fans need to realize before they re uh, watch this movie. Is that he's not the same guy where he's going to come up with like a cell design, which I'm sure a lot of people would have liked more. But he's not that guy anymore. He's a different type of artist. He don't he, like look at Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God's not that much different from Goku just in general. But you know it is what it is, and that's the same thing you go with Frieza. You mean like what kind of new form could he look like? And I saw tons of fan made designs and a whole bunch of awesome cool shit. But that just wouldn't work realistically. And to, to use that terrible word realistically, of course, but nonetheless, I like it. I personally think it's okay. Uh, you have to, you're obviously, if you're just looking at the design out of the trailer, then you're seeing it out of context. Definitely watch how he looks and how he acts with the new design in action. In the trailer. Watch the trailer, then you'll be like, oh yeah, this is the shit. Which it is. I mean, th just that one shot when he's kicking Goku's ass, it's like... Yeah, the design may not look cool, but at least he's kicking ass. He's fucking dominating a fucking god Goku, which, you know, yeah, I mean, like he he, he can hardly took he could hardly have taken him took down a Super Saiyan. Now he's taking out a, a Super Saiyan god. That's just awesome in and of itself. Nonetheless, I will admit that the 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 newest god form or new transformation, whichever you want to call it, definitely is not what fans had expected. But at the end of the day, you have to remember it's out of context. You have to watch it in action. Nonetheless, you have to also keep in uh, perspective that Toriyama has definitely uh, has been definitely keeping a very simplistic approach with all his designs. I mean, just look at the new characters and the uh, redesigns of old characters. He's definitely taking a lot a lot of time keeping things simple and not over exaggerated like he used to in the old DBZ design so uh, which I guess may hurt some fans out there but for me as a hardcore DBZ guy I love it I think it's cool yes I would have liked a more elaborate design kind of like Cell but uh, then again that's Cell this is Frieza you know so that they're two completely different characters so we need to remember that but overall I love the golden Frieza if you will and uh I think it's going to kick ass, and Forgot to Know F comes out next month, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, I could be wrong about that. But, uh, yeah, it looks fucking badass. It just looks cool, and the trailer looks like f way better than Battle of God's trailer. I just can't wait until Funimation does theirs. I just want to see that shit. I mean, I'm just saying, just the moments with Frieza, Goku, and, and Vegeta are just epic in and of itself. And all the other stuff we saw, like, glimpses of in the in the background, I can see that there's a lot more to this movie than just straight up, you know, Frieza doing his thing or whatever. But, yeah, Saiyan army, uh, well, not the Saiyan, the Z-Warrior army versus Frieza's army looks badass. Uh, Gohan, what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> Goku looks like he's struggling to defeat F Frieza and Vegeta. Could he be a Super Saiyan God? Will he be the hero? I don't know. We have to wait and see the movie. But nonetheless, I personally think the redesigned, the new form of Frieza looks cool. And if I had to rate it, I'd give it a good 7 out of 10. It looks okay. It looks great for what they're trying to do. It could have been better, but then again, you know, it's expectation. It depends on your expectation. But overall, I personally like it. Let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you what your personal expectations for this movie when it comes out. Uh, also, let me know what you personally think about the redesign, of course, uh, all the other things that we saw in the, in the newest trailer. Uh, of course, let me know uh, what are your personal opinion on Frieza in general. I know a lot of people wanted Cell or an Evil Goku and all that crazy nonsense, but I pers I'm personally okay with Frieza. And uh, just let me know what you personally think overall with the new Golden Frieza, as people have been calling it online. And um, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. I hope everyone has enjoyed. This has been John 12